everybody, welcome to my craft channel. I'm Kathy, and I'm going to show you how to do a country pumpkin Kindle holder. All right, I'm going to show you what you need or just a couple of things. It doesn't have to be exactly what I bought. Um, it can be uh, something similar to it, anything that has to do with fall, Halloween, harvest, that time of year. Um, I'm hoping that this is a good setup. I hope I, you know, everybody's able to see what I'm doing here. Um, I decided to put myself in the video today and also try to get everything in angle that I'm doing so you can see. Um, maybe what, as I start the craft, the actual craft we're going to do, I'll zoom in, I'll bring the camera in closer. That'll mean you won't really see me, but you just need to see what I'm doing. That's the most important thing. Alrighty, so um, to start, I got these napkins. That I got these, most of the stuff, all of it was from the Dollar Tree, by the way. I got these napkins that um, have a pumpkin on the bottom. And you get 14 for a dollar, as we know. And when you open it up, I gotta tell you, you get enough here to several projects if you need. Look, there is, um, if I hold it out, you'll see there's six pumpkins there. And what I do is I cut each one of them out individually. And uh, you get a lot, you get a lot for a dollar here. And um, I pre-cut the few pieces I'm gonna need for the candle holder I'm decorating to help make things go quicker here. Then I also got, I got two different types. You don't have to, but it, it's not a bad idea because then you have something to contrast it with or make another candle holder with. The other one is fall leaves. And this one got 18 in a pack for a dollar. So um, I got that to cut up and I'll show you, I have these things pre-done. I'm gonna bring the camera in a little closer in one minute. Um, what else we're going to need is Mod Podge. This one little bottle is plenty for the what we're doing today. The Dollar Tree has this exact size. This is what I got at the Dollar Tree. One is fine. I have a paintbrush, a little cheap paintbrush. You, they come 10 for a buck in a pack. Or I'm going to use some rubber gloves also. I happen to have these because I um, clean with them and everything else of one of these you could get a real tea light i suggest a tea light because they're not messy when they burn you don't have wax all over the place or you could get this the um the light that's battery operated and it uh it, it's pretty good it's safe around children and you don't have to worry about a fire starting so um let me put this on pause okay so here we go we're gonna start um so far, I've showed you, I'm about ready to start the craft, by the way. What we need is some kind of napkin. I got two different types. I've got the pumpkin and I got the uh, leaves, all from the Dollar Tree. Mod Podge, the one little bottle, that's more than enough. That's all you need is that one for what we're doing. That and uh, one, one spool of ribbon. I happen to have two that I'm going to use only because I have it. But you only have to buy one. No need to buy two. I've got, they have colors that, I pick colors that kind of go together. I also got some burlap looking, um, very country looking uh, ribbon with the wire on both sides. And I've got the twine, the twine to help uh, tie the ribbons. And this is important. This you cannot, you can probably find this at, um, the Dollar Tree in small amounts, which I guess you can do. I got this at Michael's and I don't remember how much it cost. I think it was around three or four dollars, but it looks like snow dust or fairy dust glitter. It's not the silver glitter. It's that white, very sparkly, and it does look like snow or frozen, like ice. So um, this is what we're going to use for this project. This is the one thing. I've seen it at the Dollar Tree, but in a very small amount. So, I mean, however you want to do it, but this is really the one you're going to need. 
So uh, that's pretty much what you need is either a tea light candle or the little uh, battery operated one like I showed and a candle holder. You need some kind of glass. I found this. This I thought was adorable. You could get something with a lid like I did and it did have a rubber ring inside of it but I took it out because I found it made it too hard to pull it out and open it or close it and I was afraid that that was going to be a problem. So I took it out and so it's so much easier this way and this is what I'm going to use to decorate. And there are many different types you can get. I got another one here I'm going to decorate as well. And it, it looks like a wine glass, but it's got like a pear shape, like an hourglass pear shape. Really pretty. So I'm going to do two of them. But to start, I decided I'm going to do this one first. I brought the camera down so you can see at a closer angle what I'm doing here. Okay, I pre-did some things ahead of time to speed this up a little bit. And, I, and throughout this uh, video, you'll see where I speed up certain things I'm doing so it's not too long of a video. I pre-cut, as you see here, a couple of pumpkins and leaves. And it wasn't really hard to do. And look, there was a layer that peeled off. You could leave it on if you want, but I think it might make it a little hard to, you know, um, when you're putting the glue and trying to glue it down, it would make it buckle, I think. So I just took that double, that it was like another layer of tissue on the back of this. I just took it and threw it out. So um, I pre-cut a few of them because it'll make it quicker because I'm trying to make the video here. And this is what I mean. This is in the back. This was in back of this. And it tend to come apart when you're cutting it. You'll see what I mean when you, if you do buy these from the Dollar Tree. And you really don't need this. I mean, you can use it if you prefer, but I found I didn't need it. So I have some pre-done. I'm going to put this aside over here in case I do have to cut more. All right, now we have that done. Pre-cut a couple of these. Another thing I did ahead of time. A couple of bows. Is that adorable or what? The burlap bow. And then I, I made a burlap bow, as I said, and then I made a bow out of the um, smaller size, the orange with the uh, gold in it. And I tied it together with uh, the raffia. I took some raffia. It could even be done with the twine that's here. At the, mo at the time when I did this, the twine wasn't in front of me, so I used the raffia. Came out very country looking. And I made this also out of um, the small thing of burlap. This is going to be on one of the smaller candle holders. I thought that was just so adorable. Um, I can show you how to do those bows if you don't know how to do them because it could be difficult if you've never done it before. But I promise you, it's very easy. And the secret to making these bows is pinching. you got to pinch and squeeze as you're tying it. You keep that pinched and it's going to stay that puffiness and you're going to tie it really tight and then you'll have your perfect little bow. Um, very easy to do. I'll show you real quick how to do this. Okay, I took um, the uh, burlap. I have a burlap roll of ribbon here. I guess you call ribbon. I love how that phrase, it's so barnyard decor looking. Okay, I took this. And what I did was I pre-cut ahead of time because I pretty much was sizing out the size bow I was going to need. So I made one about this big because I'm going to be putting it up to this glass here that I'm using as a paintbrush holder for now. Um, and what I want to do is keep this crisscross like this. You're going to crisscross it over a little and then pinch it up in the center. You're gonna crisscross over, you lay it down like that. Like say it's laying on the table. Crisscross it, hold it. Crisscross it like this. Okay, leave some hanging down like that. And then you're gonna, well, I don't have too much. I made it, I should have made it a little longer. Here we go, we're gonna pinch it in the middle. Oh, no, no, no. You got to think if you want it to be that size. 
I want my bow a little bit bigger, so I'm going to take less of this hanging down and bring it up shorter. You have to play with it to see what I'm talking about, and you'll know what I mean. Once you play with it and see how it works, um, you'll know exactly what I mean. All right, now this is the size I want it. I pinched it together nice and tight, and this is what I'm talking about. you got to keep that pinched good. And while I got it pinched, I'm going to trim how the edges are going to fall. I do mine on a downward angle because when it it's up, I like it to fall like that <clears throat> on an angle. Um, easy to do. You get the hang of it the more you do it. I just had pre-cut a piece of twine. Now I'm keeping that pinched. I haven't let go of it yet since I've been holding it. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping it pinched and I'm going to tie a knot in this. And I'm going to try to tie it as tight as I can get it. All right, I got a nice, tight, pinched. See, and this is what I mean. The more you pinch it, the more the bow puffs out. When I have it all done, you'll see what I mean. Here we go. See, now it's tied together nice and tight. And you have to play with it. You gotta be the one to push it the way you want it to fall, cut it the way you want it to fall. And that's it, that's the bow. That's the, um, that's going to be the back bow. I'm going to make two bows. Because see, this is where I'm going to be putting this on this glass. And that I pretty much was guessing about how big I wanted it to be. I know that looks not so pretty now, but once you put that cute little ribbon in front of it, it makes a big difference. And I'm going to make a ribbon. I'm trying to think, do I want this or do I want this? the orange hmm you know what I think I'm gonna go with this because I also have a little flower here that's another thing put aside any accessories that you think go with this project that you might be able to use and as you're going along this is the fun thing about crafting you could change things up a little bit now I'm gonna see how it looks with this this may be too big for this bow um, here we go. That's the front of it. Um, that might work. And in front of the glass like that, and the ribbon, I think this would look pretty. And I think this is the ribbon to use for it. Um, let me see. The gold. Or should I use the pumpkin? I like the gold. The gold looks pretty. It just looks so classical. Alrighty. Okay, now, remember this is going to be something that's going to be either you're giving it as a gift for somebody and you got to keep in mind what their likes are and their preferences, or if it's going to be in your house, you just keep playing with it till you see it takes on a look that um, is what you're looking for. See, I like to, this is already on an angle, I always cut my ribbon on an angle or where it looks like a tail at the end. I'm going to show you a little trick. I'll show you on this because it's bigger. Now, when you're cutting ribbon, oh, don't, you leave it straight like that. It looks kind of dull, okay? You could either leave it like that or you could put it on an angle and cut it like that. So when it falls, you got to look, and that looks nice. And, um, or better yet, one of my favorites is you make it look like a tail. You cut to the center on one side on an angle and on the other side like that and here you you got what looks like a, a tapered tail that's one of my favorite looks so that's like one of my checks there and when we're done doing a few of the bows I'll do it again and show you what I mean all right so I'm going to use this color to go on this bow what I'm doing is make I make a big bow and then with this one it's going to be smaller because I'm going to connect it to the front of this and the flower is going on here somehow. I gotta play with it and see how it's gonna fall. I'm guessing this is about a good length. Cut it on. I'll leave it like that because I can always cut more. I don't wanna cut too much at first. Um, take some twine because the twine cut, ties it the easiest. Um, here we go. 
try this. If I make it this big, put it in front of that. That's perfect. There we go. So, see, I have fun making bows. They pinch it really tight. I've always liked making bows. They give that finishing touch to so many craft projects. And uh, come Christmas time, I make so many bows. And it's so easy. It's important to learn how to make them because if you're making a special project that requires a nice big bow, like I've had somebody get a car for a member in their family at Christmas time, and they wanted to pay me to make a bow for the car. And I told them the only way I would do it is if they let me do it for free. I was not taking money for that because it was a friend at work. And I don't believe in that. It's not for me to do that. Anyhow, I made the bow and it came out so pretty. It really did. And if you do it yourself, it's not, it's not a lot of money. But if you pay for it pre-made like that, you end up spending a lot. See now... Look how cute that came out, the gold. See now, this is what I mean. See how it's falling on an angle? You could leave it like that, the edges. I mean, on the very bottom of the way it's falling. I gotta see if that's, if I want it that long. I'm gonna put it on this and see how pretty that's gonna look on the uh, glass. And I'm thinking about putting the flower there. Or better yet, I have a pack of the white ones. This is another one of those accessories, extra accessories I happen to have on the side over here. I always encourage if you have the room and you don't mind buying it, because to me it's a collection, my art stuff. I love my craft stuff. I buy stuff all the time and I end up using it. It ends up being projects. Like I never, well, I never expected to use it today for this. But let me say how that would look. I don't know. Hmm. I have to think about that. Gotta think about that one. With the pumpkins. Or do I like it with the orange? We may not even use a flower. I gotta say, we may not use a flower. We'll play with that later. But this is what I wanted to do, was show you how to do the bow if you don't know how to do it. And I, I hope what I just did made it, e made it where you could understand and you're able to do it. Because it's really not hard to do. And if you make a mistake, it can always be corrected. You can, as long as you have more um, supplies there, and I always tell people buy a little more than what you need in case you make a mistake, it can always be fixed. There's hot glue guns, there's more supplies. See now I tied that to that, to the, uh, I tied the small ribbon to the bigger ribbon. And it gives it that full look and it looks just so adorable. Now I just got to put it not in the back of it, and I'm going to, um, get ready to start doing this candle holder because now the bows are done and I like to have the bows done ahead of time because they're the finishing touches on these candle holders. Okay, here we go. Now, see how cute that came out? And as I, I'm going to play with it more as I um, put it on the candle holder. Now, see how the bottom falls on a diagonal slant like that. I could leave it like that, but I'm not going to. I'm making mine look like a tail. I love the little tail look. Just because it's a little unique, it's a little different. And there's another look you can have. I'll show you later when we do more of these. See, there we go. Get the little tails on the bottom like that. Very easy to do. I love that. Okay, so we got the bows put aside for what I could do too, I'll show you another trick. I'm gonna see, maybe I wanna add this to the front of it. There's so much you can do. Like what I would do is make this even smaller than the one that just went on. You go from big to, to medium to small. I don't know if it would be too much, but I'm gonna make it. Because if I don't use it on this, I'll use it on another project. It won't go to waste because I'm doing several fall projects here right now anyway. So I just pinched it and I made it. Let me see. It's got to be a little smaller than that. Alrighty. Um, here we go. Let me see. It's got to be a little smaller than the bow that's there. Okay, that's perfect size. Now let me try to tie this knot in it. 
where it falls the right way. Here we go. Oh boy, I just messed it up. Now I gotta try to do it again. All right, here we go, another. See? I find it's harder to do this when when you're doing it smaller. When it's bigger, it's easier to grab and hold it. But, here we go. All right, I gotta put a knot in it. Hopefully you can hear and see, okay, with my audio and with my um, camera. Here we go. I just, now I'm going to save this. I'm not going to throw this out because I'm going to need this to tie it to the other bows. See how nice that came out, that tiny little, I, I'm not going to cut the edges just yet because I want to get it, see how I like it on this. I'm not going to tie it on permanently. I'm just going to loosely pull it and attach it to this and see how I like it. And bring it up to the camera in a second to see what you think. Not that you can answer right now because I'm not doing this live, but let's see. Is that too much? Yeah, it is too much. Yeah, but you know what? I can save this for another project, okay? Right, now this is another bow I added to this plate that I've got the bows on pre-made. Remember I showed you when I first brought these out. Now this I'm going to give a, just on a slant, but I'm going to have the one going this way in that direction. And then the, this other one going in this direction for the left and for the right. I'm going to bring it up a little shorter. There we go. See how cute that came out? And when you tie it, you can play with it to have it fall a certain way. Okay, so we're done with that for now. Got four bows, which I think is good for now. We're going to put it aside over here while we start doing this, um, this candle holder. Okay, I hope I didn't waste too much time for people doing the, showing you how to do the bow, but... It's not easy for beginners, and not everybody knows how to do that sort of stuff. So I thought it was important to at least try to show some of you, I mean, those of you that are interested and how to do that. It really isn't that hard. So I'm going to put gloves on, because I do like to keep gloves on when I'm working with uh, glue. Now I got the Mod Podge. I took a Dixie cup, and I cut the top off because I like to be able to access it very easily. Not going to need all that much for this. And I have my little inexpensive art brush. Here is um, the ribbon. If you hear somebody singing in the background, that's my husband singing to my granddaughter. They're FaceTiming and I'm kind of jealous right now because I would love to be there with them. But I really wanted to do this. Um, I have to work tomorrow and I'm not going to have time when I come home to do this. Oh, I need my water. Anyhow, here we go. Now, I took my glass item, like I showed you, I pulled the uh, rubber ring that was inside of here. I pulled that out because uh, I just didn't like how hard it made it to take this off and on. I pre-washed it. I took the uh, sticker off. Not everybody has to. You, sometimes I don't, but for some reason it just was bothering me. So I finally got it off with hot soap and water and scraping it, and finally it's off. I got it done. Okay, so we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna start painting the front of this. Be generous and paint it like that. This is gonna dry clear, by the way. It looks all white and pasty, but I'll tell you, this does dry clear. And I got the gloss, the high gloss, because I like when it shines. You can get the matte or the gloss. Boy, does this remind me of when I was a kid. Okay, now I have the pre-cut pumpkins here. See these? All right, I'm going to take one, and I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to pat it down on the glue, on the glue jar. Be careful not to pull, because I don't want to tear it, but I want to get bubbles out of it. And just be very careful, just pat it. 
Try not to rub because you can end up uh, ripping it, tearing it, especially once it get, absorbs the, uh, the glue. Okay, see how I have it on there now? <clears throat> and I'm telling you, this is going to dry um, glossy and clear. Now I'm going to paint over it, but very gently. Yes, it is fine to paint over it because it's going to dry clear and shiny. This will be better to let this dry overnight. In fact, I'm going to have to end this after we get this painted and get the sparkles on it because it's got to dry overnight. I didn't have the time to uh, do one of these ahead of time. I wish I had, but um, my son decided to come and visit us yesterday. He lives out of state and uh, he's about three hours away. So he came to spend the night and to visit us and we had such a nice time. And um, I was gonna do this last night, but I put that on hold because I really want to spend time with uh, him. Him and my husband, we went out to dinner and had a great night. Um, anyway, see, now I have the, the glue was on first. I put a layer of glue on the glass first. <clears throat> I put a pumpkin on there or whatever it is that you're using to decorate it. Um, it doesn't have to be the tissue paper. The tissue paper is the best though. It conforms to the glass beautifully. Or you can take it on, um, I guess on thin paper. It can be done, but this is the best. Anything with tissue, because tissue, pull, it just conforms to the glass. It really does a nice job. So, um, all right, I got that part done. I'm going to keep putting more glue on here, and I'm going to put uh, another pumpkin or maybe some leaves. I pre-cut a couple of leaves. I wish I'd cut more. But I planned on putting mostly pumpkins around this. My daughter is going to love this. She absolutely loves the fall. And she always liked um, the homemade looking, traditional, you know, country looking crafts. And uh, I used to do this with, their, uh, with her brownie troop when she was little. I was the leader for her. And um, we did stuff like this, very similar to this with the kids. And they loved it. The mothers loved it. They made nice gifts. Wait till you see this when it's dry. You will not believe how beautiful it looks. You're really going to really like it. Okay, here I got some leaves. I'm going to put a leaf in between two of the pumpkins. This has got, ooh, oh, it keeps falling. Here we go. i got to make sure I put it in the right area. Here we go. I put it right there next to the pumpkin. And I'm gently patting it down. I'm not, I'm not brushing it with my finger. I'm patting it. See, I got it on there. See that? Okay, now I'm going to brush glue over it. So this has a layer of glue under it and a layer of glue over it. This is, um, this is such a nice, you know, gift to give somebody. It's because it comes from the heart and it just, it's, to me, there's nothing like candle holders, candles, homemade type of crafts. They're, they're just so much fun to do, you know, especially if you sit there and do it with a friend. I mean, I could get into having craft parties and it just would be so much fun. You just have all the stuff ready and supplied and ready to go and just have some fun and relax, play some music and make a craft with a friend, you know, or a couple of friends. It could be a lot of fun. Okay. So there I got my pumpkin hard to see because the glue is over it. In fact, you can see from the other side inside the uh, glass, how I have it. And when this dries, you'll see it, it'll be all shiny and it'll be clear because all this glue dries. I've used this stuff for years with the brownie troop and when the kids were, were um, in uh, elementary and middle school, I'd go in and I always was helping with the craft stuff. I was, you know, able to be one of those moms that came in and would go on school trips and help with the classes because um, I didn't go to work till, you know, uh, early evening. I only went part time. And uh, I was able to be part of all the things the kids did when they were in school. 
luckily. All right, so here's another pumpkin I'm gonna put on here, going around. I'm gonna try to make sure I got enough for three. One, two, three, okay. I'm gonna make sure I space them nicely. Whoa, now I have to, gotta be careful when you put it on because once it goes on, it sticks. Now there's no way I'm taking this, I don't think I'll be able to move it. I really don't want it there and I don't wanna rip this. All right, thank God it'll let me do it. I don't want this looking like a tomato because not wrong with a tomato, but it's orange and it's a pumpkin and it's supposed to look like a pumpkin. <laughs> Okay, I think I smushed it a little bit, but we're going to fix it. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. I got the stem out. Whew, got it. But always work on mistakes. Mistakes happen when you're doing arts and crafts. And I just made one with the stem on that side. That's okay. We're just going to have to live without that. Okay, see, I got it on. I broke the stem, but that's all right. That's all right. I'll find a way to work around that. That'll be okay. Oh boy, how I love um, doing this stuff. I wish I could do this all the time. It's relaxing. And it really, uh, it's just a good feeling when you look at something so pretty and you enjoy doing it and the outcome of it was, is nice and uh, People love it when you give it to them as a gift, or I've sold many things I've made at craft fairs, and I've even had people that I went to their houses with my craft stuff I was selling in the back of my hatchback of my SUV, pull up in their driveway, they'd have a certain time I was coming over, and they'd have a friend or two over, and they would pick through what I had, and they would buy my crafts and the craft baskets that I made that I sold, which were a lot of candle items. And um, I made a lot of Yankee Candle gift baskets. They were beautiful. And uh, I had fun doing that. But um, what happened was I ended up going to work full time and I had a hard time adjusting, balancing it out. And my crafts were dropped at the side for the time being because I started selling on eBay. Which I still do, but I like to do this. This is another outlet for me. I absolutely love crafts. Oh boy See that's stuck and it's hard because I'm using I'm working with these gloves on see all right now I got it At least I have the stem on this one. See it's got two stems the center and like one off to the side. I Love this. It's so adorable. My daughter's gonna really go crazy when she sees this stuff. Here we go. Now I got it on there. Again, see now on the other side where it's drying, it's you can see it's starting to dry clear. You see the shine. I can't wait till it dries because then I get to um, show all of you how it looks. And then I get closer to the next steps, which doing the bow. Actually, I guess the bow could have waited because this has to dry overnight. But I'm glad I showed you because hopefully you were able to see from that angle um, if you were able to see from that angle how I was doing the bow where you could understand how it's done. If not, please leave, leave me a message, a comment in the messages. A message in the comments below the video. Just leave quick, short, to the point. Um, I need you to move closer or maybe the lighting's off, just let me know because I'm hoping you can see what I am doing here. The, the whole idea of doing this is for my viewers. I right, see it's drying already and you can see how shiny it is. I have to put more glue on this because now I'm gonna put snow dust over this. I just have to put more glue on it because I really want the snow dust to hold make sure all these areas I can't believe how fast this was starting to dry in certain areas I have to make sure there's plenty of glue on this and I'm gonna as soon as I get the um, snow dust on this I'm gonna have to stop this and retake uh, start over again tomorrow once this is dry and uh, we'll do the finishing touches on this which will be the bow and um, the light that goes inside and uh, I'll probably do another craft tonight I'm gonna video something else I have a couple of projects I'm making here that I got to get done 
I have a, <clears throat> a week before I'm leaving New York to go to North Carolina and visit my daughter, and I really want to uh, have the stuff ready. So, and um, plus I have to uh, clean up because we have work getting done in our house, and there's going to be people in and out of here. There's going to be somebody uh, constantly working on stuff while we're gone. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this down here. I just didn't want this dripping on anything. Okay, now I have the snow dust glitter looking stuff. Woo, I almost dropped it. This is what I was telling you about. And I do it over the plate because whatever I have that falls, I'm going to save it and put it right back into this. And you could, it's easy to do on one of these cheap little styrofoam plates. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to put this on the holes so I could shake or oh, shake over it. See how that comes out. Do it right over the plate. Oh, how pretty. Something so simple, but so pretty. Really, when it dries, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now look how pretty that is. I'm trying to get it on all areas of um, the glass here. Because I, I really want to have all areas because once it dries, look how pretty that is. I, I don't know if you can see it in the light, this light here, but uh, let me try to bring this. I don't know if you can see that any better. Yes, that helps. Let me lower that a little bit more. Look at that. And when that dries clear, that is going to look so pretty. I can't wait till it dries. Oh, how I am so anxious. All right, people. I'm, oh, oh, I forgot about the top piece. Ay. Okay, um, what did I want to do with the top piece? Hmm, what's a good idea? You know what? Let me, what we'll do is I have this little small leaf here. I'll paint the top of this with the glue. And we're going to put the dust, the snow dust stuff on it. But we'll put a leaf on it. I think that'll look nice. Got to blend it and blend it in where the top piece is going to look nice with the bottom piece. It's all got to blend in. I can't just, you know, when you want to put the top on, have it go on and, you know, it wasn't painted with the glue and the glitter or even a leaf or a pumpkin. It, it would look funny. Almost forgot. All right, here we go. I know once I touch it, it's going to be oh, stuck to my... Here we go. See the leaf now? Oh, no. I'm going to try to put it on here in a way where I can manipulate it and bend it. It's going to go around the um, shape of the glass. See? There we go. See that? That's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna see how I got that on there. I just put it around the glass. I just let it bend and make sure I um, just smoothed it along the glass so it conforms and holds good. Okay, now I'm gonna have to take a couple of little pieces of something because um, I like to put another little something on there and this pumpkin's a little too big I don't think that's gonna work I'm gonna have to take these gloves off first of all let's cut out a little piece of another leaf I'll have to do that real quick here see it's pretty I love the fall these fall colors are just so breathtaking so many times as I'm driving home from work on a back road I'll be taking pictures with my cell phone of the changing of the the leaves, the colors, because they're gorgeous. And um, I, I just love the fall. I live in northeastern part of the United States, and uh, 
it's so pretty when it when that happens it, it's it's so pretty and I know the winter is cold and gray and many people don't like it but I like the change of all seasons the fall being my absolute favorite because of the colors I love the oranges the yellows the golds all the warm tones they, they're just absolutely breathtaking and I tend to decorate my house in those colors okay here we go I try to you know it doesn't really matter you don't want to spend too much time getting too detailed cutting around perfectly because it's really not going to show that much especially with snow dust the snow glitter stuff over it I mean you try to cut it make it look nice yes but it's not really going to matter when you have this stuff coming over it and I have to think of how I want to position this where it's gonna here we go where it's gonna be able to have room to uh go on the glass here we go I just gotta press it down there we go at least there's something where <clears throat> it goes together now it's got a leaf on it I wish I could put a pumpkin on it but it, it would have to be a tiny one it's just not big enough the top isn't big enough and the pumpkins that I have on these napkins are too big but the leaf will work it's fine and as we go along, I might come up with an idea overnight. I might decide to put a ribbon or a bow around the top of this. Or I might leave it the way it is. I gotta see how it looks and everything's done. I cannot believe how fast this was drying. I'm just gonna throw some of that snow dust glitter on it. We're gonna stop and I will take up where we left off tomorrow night. When I come home from work after dinner I'm gonna have to do this okay here we go see I got that on now I'm gonna do some snow dust the snow glitter one of my favorite parts I like to do this with real leaves that have fallen from the trees when they just start to crinkle a little bit and um, it's good to work with them when they dry out a little bit. And you can Mod Podge them to um, jars. Like you can take, a, it's gotta be a glass jar though. Uh, like a glass jar from mayonnaise or Italian sauce. You, obviously you take these stickers off and what you do is you Mod Podge the real leaves to the glass. And then when you put this snow dust over, it looks gorgeous. Especially when you put a little candle in there you shut the lights off it's so pretty um, I did that with my Girl Scouts one year and it looks so nice and it came from all the leaves that they gathered that they brought in okay we're done with this part look how pretty that is already it hasn't even dried yet let me lower the light and I'll show you the sparkles give you an idea see that when that dries you're gonna see it clear you'll be able to see that much better because it will be all clear and shiny look at that that is so pretty it might look like too much now but you'll see when this is dry you're gonna say oh my god that's so pretty all right everybody we're going to stop here and I'm gonna pick up from here from when we left off um, we'll come back tomorrow and you hang in there <laughs>